On September 9th, 2017, a 19-year-old woman named Kanika Jenkins was found in the freezer of the Crown Plaza Chicago O'Hare Hotel in Rosemont, Illinois. Here she is, dressed in blue, walking normally to a party with friends. These final scary moments caught on hotel security camera mark the last time anybody saw her alive. She is leaving a party and appears to have trouble walking as she stumbles down a hall, not looking ahead, looking lost and disoriented. No one is with her as she walks alone past the kitchen and towards the freezer storage that would claim her life. There has been some controversy surrounding this case, but now that I see her condition, I believe it's possible that she accidentally walked into the dark freezer, shut the door, and couldn't find her way out. It's a terrifying situation and I wish there was some way to stop her from walking off camera, knowing what's going to happen next. Her friends really should have been with her to stop this from happening, but I'm sure they know that already and probably feel shame and regret every day, which only makes this video all the more horrifying to watch unfold. Tell me if you think the hotel should be held responsible or not for what happened to Kanika Jenkins. Even though she is a legal adult and therefore largely responsible for herself, I think they are partially responsible because the kitchen should have been closed off since it was not in use. Regardless of who is to blame, what happened is truly terrible and my heart goes out to her family. The Jordanian Ghost Hunter, known only as Mr. Harith, is back at it again with more scary stuff caught on live stream video, this time while exploring an abandoned house once inhabited by an alleged witch. I'm so Allah, I'm so Allah. 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 This could be one of his friends, but each time he looks in the room, the witch was just in. The figure has disappeared. Things get really weird when this ghost caught on live stream mysteriously disappears as well. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا 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 راح والله راح بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم This might have been caused by a live stream delay except it doesn't drop frames and the resolution stays the same the ghost witch is simply there one second and gone the next John of a paranormal channel called Exploration Unknown investigates an abandoned farmhouse late at night. He and two other ghost hunters split up and then reconvene downstairs to discuss what they found, which was little more than some empty rooms and loose steps. The floors upstairs are pretty spongy. I, I did it, but uh, I doubt it. After talking with Tim, John walks through the first floor, and at 11 minutes, a shadow figure is caught on tape moving above him. We've got the K2 meter over here in this window. We're getting things set up. All right. And then in here, we got Josh on the porch. It's not Josh because Josh is on the porch outside, and it's not Tim because they just had a conversation about how dangerous the floor was up there. And for some reason, the legs remain covered in darkness, even though enough light hits the area to show the banister is brown, so there's a strong chance that this ghost video is real. The Crazy Red Show uploaded an odd sky sighting over the Hawaiian island of Maui that I think needs more coverage and further analysis. I'm filming that, bruh. I'm telling you, bruh, they're right there. Holy Lights in the sky have assembled into a strange formation that does not get closer or farther away, simply hovers without a sound. Looking back, the Crazy Red Show says he still has no idea what these lights were, describing the unexplained event as a surreal moment that, if he had to guess, might be a triangulating satellite system being launched. 
I admit I don't have much of an idea of what a satellite system looks like, but I would assume getting launched involves movement of some kind. Like I said, these unexplained lights in the sky seem stationary and make for a strange sighting caught on tape indeed. Tell me if you think this is something made by us, because a lot of people think this could be video evidence of visitors from someplace far beyond our world. I personally think it could be flares from a government drill, but it's too hard to say. A slamming door wakes up Tiana Wilson and her family, who have long suspected their house to be haunted. They grab a camera and timidly go exploring upstairs. Shortly afterwards, an alarm fills the house and things get even creepier. Listen. No way. Oh, we need to go. That's what the beeping is. It's the fridge. <laughs> they shut the fridge and wonder how it was opened in the first place. That's when their grandmother, who is staying with them for a few days, comes to see what the commotion is. Did you did you leave the fridge door open, Mom? The grandmother isn't sure if she left the fridge open or not. What's that sound? Have you been asleep, Ruby? Yes, in the, in the night down here, wake me up. Ooh. I don't get up this time of morning. Is my mum a ghost? But she definitely didn't shut any doors. I sure it's about half past one. Oh, yeah. I can see something. Oh. And when they go back and review the video, they find a shadow figure staring at them from the end of the hallway. Freaky, right? It's 3 a.m. when an unseen employee of a pharmacy in Egypt turns on the television and pulls up a chair. More weird things are caught on camera. A liquid turns into mist and floats away, replaced by strange blotches on the floor and a deep, scary noise. Lights flicker as a grumbling paranormal force crosses the room and sinks two dark hoof prints into the glass countertop. Then the security equipment stops recording. They say anything can happen at 3 a.m., but I'm not sure if this scary 3 a.m. video is real, considering everything could have been done with voiceovers and CGI. This individual sees strange sightings in the sky, creepy stuff hidden in front of our eyes as she puts it. It would be easy to dismiss her notions as outlandish, except for one thing, she can back up her claims. You see, Sheila has caught weird things on camera. She zooms into the trees to find a creepy pale face with round black eyes staring back at her from the treetops. This could be a balloon or something else stuck in the tree, but it's far from the only bizarre thing she's caught on camera near her house. A short time later, she finds this odd light not too far from where she saw the face. Two other lights are spotted in the sky in an odd formation that soon blinks away. Together, they do seem to, once connected, possibly form the outer perimeter of a much larger disc-like object. What are these strange silent objects that glow and grow? The unexplained lights do not look like a helicopter and have no trail of a spotlight, so what could they be? A popular YouTuber named Mikey021 has reason to believe his house in Brazil is really haunted. He says it's not uncommon for objects to go moving on their own. Tell me if you think this home experiment is real or not. This video might be a spirit or he could be blowing plastic cups off his counter with a hair dryer. 
It looks paranormal until you realize it could simply be wind. If some heavier objects were caught on camera from a different angle, showing both sides of the counter, then I would be more readily convinced, but as it stands, I'm just not sure if his house is haunted. A supposedly real ghost sighting was caught on dash cam video by VBO Life while exploring one of the most haunted places in Delhi. It happens fast, so watch closely or you'll miss the scary stuff. An apparition appears in front of them and they get freaked out, or so it seems. Slow it down and at 8 minutes and 22 seconds you'll see the spirit is supposed to be in front of the car, but the very bottom of its dress accidentally clips into the hood. So while this video's creepy, I can also safely say it's not real. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every Every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1 In 2009, a paranormal research group was tasked with investigating ghost sightings at a cemetery in Tampa Bay. They review weeks worth of footage and uncover some weird things caught on camera. They think this video is paranormal because an odd light goes behind a marker, placing this object, be it a ghost, an orb, or whatever you want to call it, somewhere behind the fence. Therefore, it's not a bug or a dust particle moving up close, though it could simply be edited. The ghost hunters claim to record the spot for three more weeks before any other paranormal evidence is caught on video. This time, their camera picks up a shadow figure moving off screen, along with some kind of ethereal mist blanketing this area that does not look like normal fog. It happens at the same time a car drives by, so I'm hoping this shadow figure is just caused by passing headlights, otherwise this video might be as paranormal as they say. A YouTuber named The Inception of Yara Phoenix captures a scary moment on camera while exploring India. While doing some kind of construction work, a member of this crew holds a spike in place while another swings a heavy hammer a few feet from his head. 